Welcome back to this episode of the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. I'm Alan Waddell and now joined by the new football coach here at Southeastern Louisiana University, Mr. Ron Roberts. And coach, thanks for being here. The last time we talked to you, it was at the press conference. You were just being hired. There's been a lot of progression since you've been here. Yeah. Talk about these first couple of weeks of being a Lion. It's been exciting, real exciting. First part was obviously putting together a staff and we're about complete. We've got several guys on staff already ready, ready to hit the road recruiting. Well, coach, talk about uh, some of the challenges and maybe putting the staff together like that so quickly? Well, you know, the biggest one was, you know, obviously being over the holiday se uh, season and, you know, you know, schools closed down and things and, and uh, just trying to get everybody in place. That was the biggest part. But uh, there's so many guys out there wanting to become part of a program and obviously be on a, a part of being such a great place in, in Hamlin, Louisiana. Well, Coach, obviously this is a big part of the year for recruiting as we, uh, you know, get towards the spring. You got to get guys in here uh, mid-season, maybe transfers. Also, uh, getting those high school kids to commit. Uh, talk about that process uh, since you've been here at Southeastern. Well, we were pretty fortunate right before the break. Uh, we, we signed uh, two guys that really expect to help us quite a bit. A big 6'6 wide receiver out of Florida. Been playing junior college ball at Minnesota. And he's going to give us that big presence on the outside. Uh, and, and hopefully that deep ball threat. And uh, so we're excited about him. And then obviously uh, we signed a strong safety, a big 6'2", 205, very physical kid that I think is going to, again, bring a, a, a physical run stop and ability to the defense. What's some of the strengths you see coming back in Southeastern's roster from a year ago? Well, I, I think there's plenty of athletes here. I don't, I don't think, I, don't, I, I see all the ability and things in place. You know, there's some areas all we've got to get better at and there's some areas we, we need to strengthen. And, and we've got to get some more quality depth, I think, on, on the front lines on both sides. But I'm real impressed right now with the ability that uh, they've shown and the commitment obviously with Coach Powell the guys made whenever when they didn't have a head coach and the commitment they made in the weight room the gains they've made and the strides are going forward these kids want to win well, Coach, uh, that's where we're standing right now is in the weight room. As you can probably see a little bit in the background, some new additions here in the weight room. And this is a fantastic facility. I know this is one of those things that you yeah. talked about whenever you were getting the job here. Hey, this is a great thing to recruit to. No doubt. This is a beautiful facility. This, is, this compares to anybody in the country. This is the greatest facility you can, you can go work out in. Uh, got a fantastic strength coach, and obviously this gives them an environment to first-class facility, and we're real excited about it. Well, obviously, there's always X's and O's in football, but you got to get bigger and stronger. And talk about that process, what your team's doing right now. The lifting, uh, you know, just work. Coach Powell's been working with a lot of kids on an optional basis right now because school's not back until the 17th. But a lot of guys have been around here, and we've been working out, I think, about 20 guys a day. And, uh, just doing an out outstanding job. The guys are hungry and, and they're looking forward to next season. Uh, obviously right now as well, we're putting in the new turf here at Southeastern Strawberry Stadium. I know that's an exciting time yeah. as well. That thing's going to be beautiful. Oh yeah, no doubt. It's, it's great just to see it piled up out here ready to go. I think demolition starting on uh, January 9th and uh, you know, people are welcome to come by and see that and, and just see there's a great progress going forward every day. Well, Coach, I know you've hired some staff right now. We talked about a little bit general, some of your philosophies, offensive and defensive. Is any of these guys maybe you hired? Uh, talk about maybe some philosophies in, in offensively and defensively, a little more specific with some of these particular guys. Uh, well, I'll start offensively. Our offense coordinator, uh, Greg Stevens, who's been, he was, he's been offense coordinator in the South and before, was in the WAC, was offense coordinator at Utah State. And, uh, terrific mind. Uh, that's why I look for somebody that uh, can can make the most with the talent and the things that make use of the players and get the ball in the hands of the guys that can make plays for us and uh, does a great job of formation and we're going to show a lot of formations and movement and motion and, and uh, try to scheme people to get the best matchups we can. And uh, it's going to be an aggressive, aggressive attack on the offensive side of the ball and uh, exciting to watch. Well, on defense, what's, what are we looking for? Well, Pete Golding, obviously Hammond product, is a defensive coordinator. He's done an unbelievable job. And, uh, you know, we're going to be an aggressive odd man attack. And we're going to blitz and pressure and uh, try to cause some turnovers and fumbles and get the, get the ball back as fast as we can for the offense. Pete Golding, a Hammond High School alumni. So bringing yeah, somebody yeah. back here in the home to Southeast, I know that's got to be yeah. exciting. Yeah, I think it's real exciting. I think it helps, obviously, the people here in the community understanding, you know, having a, a local here. And, and hopefully it's going to get our staff more entrenched in this community. And, and, and that's what we want. We want to be out in the community. We want to be involved in the community. And uh, we want to engage these people every way possible in their lives. Well, the last time we saw you, it was before the holidays. And there's been a lot of work done in just a few short weeks. I know this is an exciting time for you. And, Coach, good luck as you continue in the recruiting process. Process, and we look forward to having you on our program again. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have a lot more for you right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm.